Pete and you're watching Feral Fabrications. It's time for an update on the old Capri, the old clapped out Capri. You can see it's covered in dust once more. Um, I have been working on it. I've got the radiator installed finally. I think we've done like three parts on the cross member install and three parts on the radiator or something. So I've decided to wrap this up and condense it down and sort of make this the last one. I started off, I put some tabs in the bottom to support the bottom of the radiator. Um, I went that way, it was just sort of a starting point I guess, it meant I could sit the radiator in there and see how everything was going to work. So with those little tabs, I drilled some holes through them just to accept a rubber grommet I bought off uh, like a generic rubber grommet kit, used some of the bigger ones in there for that. Then machined up a couple of pins in the lathe, you could just buy some aluminium bar uh, if you wanted to copy it. but. Yeah, I machined them up in the lathe and welded them onto the bottom tanks of the radiator to slot down um, and fit inside. So that is the bottom of the radiator, like rubber mounted, um, pretty pretty decent, it's not going anywhere. With that done, I put the uh, side pieces on to basically make it a big air duct. I want to try and funnel air into the radiator. Um, and my front of the car had already been cut up so I just sort of sized them up to work as best as possible really and that's sort of how I ended up with the angle I, I got. Um, so with that done uh, I stiffened up those sides, I put them through the bead roller, um, put a bit of a pattern in and a bit of a stiffening strip just to give it a bit of rigidity you know. Um, all cars are made strong that way by having lots of folds and, and rolled metal and that so just sort of replicating that and it's a bit you know a bit nicer finish so with that done and the sides done I sort of folded the edges over so I could put a um, top on and also put a um, like a ceiling weather strip I've, I've got some strip I'll put on once it's all painted I haven't done that yet um, but it's just a minor detail just to seal it all off so um, yeah, I've got some returns on there for that strip to go on and with that done it was ready for the top piece of the radiator made out of some aluminium sheet um, with, with some bead roll patterns in that as well, just sort of size them up. A bit of aluminium also has some um, pins on the top of the radiator, also put a little dimple dyed strip along the top of the radiator because trying to weld it weld those pins to that piece of the radiator was pretty difficult and I couldn't weld it on the end ta tanks because of the filler cap so yeah I just went uh, put a strip of aluminium the whole way on the top of the radiator and then welded the pins onto the back of that weld it all up so that came out pretty well um, and yeah then the piece of metal just fits over top and job done okay so this is it without the radiator in so you can see what I did down the bottom so I just got some tabs and grommets and then these are the folded up bits of metal um, the strip here for the just a bit of foam weather strip to go on so that'll go up here seal it um, not sure if I'll put it along the top and along here just to prevent scratching more than anything on this I might get some thinner three millimeter stuff um, for here probably could though because the aluminium sheet sits up at that level but I'll show you how it all goes together now. Um, we'll go and get the radiator and drop it on the hole. This is the radiator with the modified inlets and outlets to suit. And let's get it to line up with the hole. That's when it's all the way along. Just holds it on place anyway. pretty much it so pretty quick and easy install to pull it out I just got to undo the 
one, two, three, four, five bolts. Pop that cover off. Undo the hose clamps. Pull it straight out the top. And I am going to mount a small electric fan on the back, just for when I'm like staging in the pits and stuff, so it doesn't overheat. It's just going to sit in this top area here, and uh, got plenty of space for that. So. If it was a road car, you probably want your radiator a bit further forward, just so you get a bit more space for a fan. But a race car, I only need the little fan to keep it cool when I'm staging. I was happy to do that. Um, and to move it much further forward, uh, you need to actually see. I could have probably got another 10 millimeters or something, but uh, to get it a lot further forward than that, you need to. Um, cut the end tanks on the radiator which I didn't really want to do either so yeah in hindsight if I was doing it all again possibly move it slightly further forward but sort of thought I wanted a bit of a gap between the radiator and this anyway but probably just didn't need quite that much um, probably could have got away with sort of 10 mil or so, uh, 5 mil I think I thought 10 when I was making it originally but anyway pretty happy and um, yeah, just got some primer on it for now. Plug welder done. So yeah, it's basically the radiator install finished. There we have it. You're all up to speed on Capri related stuff now. Radio, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.